dropping the nuke or else ending a footnote to a campaign. To nuke or to footnote a campaign, this is the dilemma. It all started when I got a calling to keep making infant incubators, but for the human spirit. Since dropping what I was doing then, I've gone through a trial stage of thought in questing my calling. Initially Socratic back in Mexico, Pythagorean transitional, and Mosaic of late in Austin. In all, eight books spread out across 16 years to date, crowned by Pardesism 2016 and its sequel, The Principle 2018, both of Mosaic inspiration. My voice took me from today's 21st century America to the 4th century BCE Classical Athens, back to 6th century BCE Pre-Socratic Ionia, and eventually to Mosaic Judea Israel, 10th century BCE. Of modern philosophy, Descartes, Kant, Nietzsche, and so on, of classical Athens, Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle, amongst minor schools, of the Pre-Socratic fragments, Thales of Miletus, Parmenides of Pelea, and Pythagoras of Samos, of Judea Israel, Moses. However, once past my modern and antiquity phases and on to the archaic, things got tricky with Biblical Hebrew. The problem is that neither science nor philosophy are on talking terms with documents that it deems religion. This feeds on the conviction out there of keeping things separate. The Native American Indian put it in no uncertain terms that the white man speaks with forked tongue. The point I'm driving at is that when I came up with a thought that combined on the one hand Socratic doubt with Pythagorean triads and on the other hand Pythagorean tetractis with Mosaic revelation, there was a pushback of taboo. Some people recommended to leave out the Hebrew, others not to mention Kabbalah reception at all, or at work to keep it to myself and certainly miles away from the classroom. The problem in practice is that a calling doesn't come in isolation. It comes as a package deal of one whole made of triad parts, calling, message, and mission. Nietzsche is credited for saying that with the charge given comes the way, that with the ends pursued are provided the means to achieve it. It was a combination of making ends meet, added to the fire of character, that narrowed the choices to dropping the nuke or else ending as footnote to the campaign. The nihilist existentialist also say that shock therapy is what it takes to shake people out of their modernity slumber, as in GD is dead. Regarding my campaign, the imperative is coming up with a secret weapon of a nuke to get the deep eddy rolling out. Either I give it all I wasn't trusted or else it was texting I received and not a calling. I have to pass it on as I received it with no abridgments. Paradise is what it is. It comes down from the creation story in Breshit, Genesis 1, 1 to 2, 3. It is intuitive, simple, and easy to understand, yet solely made hard by the dead weight of modernity with its dualism, flashing lights, and bewilderment. I was impeded from trying this out at school to awaken our dumbed-down educational system. Now I'm a free agent. Listen me out, make up your own mind, and act accordingly. Hi, I'm Rick from Austin, Texas, and I'm running for the U.S. Senate 2020. I have the calling to serve, the message of paradise to disseminate, and the mission of re-civilization in America to realize. Entrale a la bola. No seas canica. Let's roll. Don't marvel. Yours truly, Rick, and GD Bless.